Dan motherfucking Pena. I think he's Mexican. Some kind of Mexican. I don't sound, I don't want to be sound, I don't want to sound racist, but I know in Texas, we were so fucking racist, man. Like, some guy would be there from Spain or like Guatemala, El Salvador. Be like, yeah, he's some kind of Mexican. Hilarious, hey? Anyway, D Dan Pena is some kind of Mexican. Um, the bad kind. And I want to make a video about his claim of his testosterone test. What a fucking loser. Man, I want to punch these motherfuckers in the face. Even Brian Rose, the London Real guy. And I'm going to get into all these things very soon because I have a way to see into people. Because I know I used to be like this. I used to be a fake motherfucker. You know, four years ago when I started, you go some watch some of those YouTube videos. Like, I was so fake. I wasn't who I am. I was doing things to please people or to sell shit. And today, I've realized that other people do that. And I can like read in, like I can hone in and see those motherfuckers like Dan Pena. So, in a recent video with Brian Rose, Dan Pena was there in London Real and he said he has a testosterone level of 1750 and right after he said he test tested it again in like six months and it's 2500 now let me let me let me see let me let me kind of prove the bl bullshit a little bit like why this is a bullshit I'm gonna prove it and I'm gonna give you some real insights on how to detect when people are lying and why, why they're fraud there have been many studies that show that people tend to blink When they lie. So when Dan Pena, right before he says 1750, right before he says 2500 for his testosterone levels, he goes like this, like a billion times. He's lying. Brian Rose is also an asshole because every fucking video, this dumb shit goes, oh my God, I tried his product. I tried. Cannab cannabido uh, cannabidiol, you know, CBD oil. I tried Dan Pena's method. You know, Dan Pena, by the way, is his mentor, so he has to suck up to him and suck his dick, uh, his old, old, scrawny little dick. Um, and it's like, Brian Rose says that about everyone. Dan Bilzerian, oh, I'm gonna take your cannabido uh, cannabidiol oil, you know, your CBD oil, it changed my life. And then he'll be like, uh, a recent video he had with Dave Asprey. Oh, the bulletproof diet changed my life. Or like, this workout changed my life. I trained with uh, Dorian Yates, it changed my life. Like, what the fuck, man? Everything changes your life? Like, give value to people who deserve value. Don't give value to everyone. It's just so salesy, this asshole. And, and I know, you know, Imran, the co-founder of Afro-D, he sometimes gives me notes. Uh, he always gives me notes for these videos and then I write my own after doing the research and he wrote in in here that uh you know brian rose is a is like because imran thinks brian rose is cool nah -uh. brian rose is a dumb fuck recently brian made a video with an indian guy who told us about cbd oil and how you should invest it and so on tower deep deepak tiwari deepak tiwari Deepa tiwari something like that an indian guy and dude when that indian guy was talking about cbd oil science he was so wrong he mentioned that uh, cannabinoid targets the CB2 receptor, which uh, can, uh, cannabidiol targets the CB2 receptor, which is completely wrong. Completely wrong. I've done extensive research on CBD oil, and that's so wrong. And just the dumb fuckers who come on and try to sell shit and then have these websites that Brian Rose sends them to to, to like make uh, some kind of affiliate money. I don't know what the fuck, man. Let's get back to Dan Pena, okay? Um, yeah, yeah, people ask about Dan Pena, Joe Rogan, I'm gonna get into Joe Rogan soon in another video. But I saw this YouTube video, I never saw it before, I saw it when people were asking me about, hey man, does Dan Pena's testosterone level still actually 1750? So I'm looking at my notes here to make sure I cover everything. Now Dan is 74 or 75 years old. A 75 year old asshole has a testosterone, levels, a testosterone level of 2500. Mine are around 800, and my bioavailable is, is Superman levels, uh, above the reference range. Dan Pena's are three times higher than mine, and he's not on juice. Yeah, good luck. Now, let me prove it even more about this dumb fuck. He said during London Real that he did a seminar, and he mentioned his testosterone results, and he passed out papers to people with his tests. 
And this is what he said exactly. And you'll see him blink a lot during this time too. He goes, I'm surprised these results are not in the internet. I don't remember getting them back. I don't remember collecting those papers back. You asshole, if you have your testosterone results, why don't you post them? Why didn't you bring your testosterone results to London Real with you? This is a big finding. A 75 year old with a testosterone level of 2500, the whole world will know about it, but he's lying. So all the people who believe him will believe him. This is something very, very important for you to understand and learn. When you believe someone because it's good for your survival, then you will believe what they say even if it's wrong. Don't do that. Even me. If I say some bullshit, call me out right away. Tell me that Farhan, you're wrong. This is wrong with you. And I take all those comments into account big time. Okay? Now, uh, people, people on YouTube are lying. Uh, big shock. Uh, what you hear on the uh, internet is not true. He's 100% lying, a million percent lying. He's probably pumping testosterone. Um, yeah, I call BS on the whole thing. Dan Pena, I am challenging you right now as you're watching this video. Email me your blood test, motherfucker. Send it to the world. Tweet it. You post a video on YouTube every day. All this nonsense shit you post every day. Oh, just fucking do it, man. Just fucking do it, man. You know, he basically copied Nike, who said just do it, and he had fucking to it, and now he's like, just fucking do it. So why don't you fucking do it, Dan, and send me your testosterone results so we can have proof that you are at 2,500. If Dan Pena emails me his testosterone results and they are 2,500 like he claims them to be, I will walk around naked for an entire day here in Kiev. Challenge. Go. I'll do that and go to jail or someone will shoot me. Whatever the fuck happens, I'll do that. I'll go walk around naked for an entire day in Kiev until I get arrested. Okay? Challenge to you, Dan. Fuck you.